Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. Uh, first a bit of news, everyone's probably aware that today Windows released Windows 7, uh, but in true Apple style, I think they tried to steal their thunder a little bit. A couple of days ago they released uh, some new computers, the iMac, the uh, MacBook and the new Mac Mini. Uh, what's particularly good about the latest release of Apple computers is the new Apple Magic Mouse, which uh, if like Nick and I spend all day on a computer, looks pretty useful. Again, this week's tutorial is on the Kufon text replacement, which I touched on in the SEO video blog. Um, we mentioned that it was pretty uh, search engine friendly, and we're going to show you how to uh, embed it into your website now. So Kufon is a JavaScript HTML font text replacement technique. Um, the only other main sort of one that is existing at the moment is called uh, Cifa, um, which uh, we've used at Create a few times, but it's quite uh, faffy and complicated to get set up, and that relies on flash files. So Kufon has been designed to be a lot more um, easy for websites to set up. It's a lot more durable in the sense that it works on uh, multiple browsers a lot better. So to use this on your website, what you have to do is go to kufon.chocolate.com slash generate, like here at the top. And first of all, you need to get the JavaScript. So click on download and then save this JavaScript file onto your website and upload it and obviously run that file in the head of your page. Next, you need to create a second JavaScript file by using their on, you know, online generator. So you have to choose the typeface. Um, you know, if you work on a Mac, just go to your fonts library and uh, source the files. Uh, same sort of thing on a PC, but you have to bear in mind that you can only use uh, true type fonts, open type, um, like it states here at the bottom. So what you have to do, if you're just you're using one font, then you want to upload um, the regular font, the bold, and italic, you know, whichever ones you think you're going to be using. But obviously, the more you use, the bigger file size this JavaScript file is going to be. So select the typeface. And then when you come down, you can name the typeface, which you know, you'll be using to reference in your um, JavaScript. And also, you need to tick this box to make sure that you have permission to use the typeface for embedding it on your web page. Um, various commercial fonts have various um, you know, copyright and you know, usage policies, so please make sure that you check that and don't get yourself in trouble. Um, glyphs, obviously, again, if you're just going to be using them for headings, you, know, you might just want to have uppercase and lowercase. Um, if you think you're going to be using numbers, you know, again, same sort of principle. The more of these that you tick, the bigger the file size is going to be, but the more um, you know, glyphs will be available to you. So tick which ones are appropriate. Usually I'll just tick uppercase, lowercase, uh, numerals, maybe punctuation, which is probably 80% of them. But um, as it says here, you know, it's highly unrecommended that you just tick all of them. So go through that. And then you can skip through the rest of it. Um, it's all set up at you know, default recommended settings. And then come down to the terms, tick the U, acknowledge them, then click on let's do this. And essentially, this will make you a secondary um, standalone JavaScript file, which again, you then save to your website and upload to the remote view. So I've already done this um, with a free typeface that came, uh, well, I say free, a typeface that came with um, Adobe um, Creative Suite CS3. Um, I think it's called Hiptathia. So here you can see the Kufon um, working on a HTML page that I've created. Um, I've created a heading one here and let that be bold. Heading to which is just at the normal weight of the typeface. And as you can see, you can um, use CSS to style style this. I've sort of made the letter spacing a little bit tighter and also changed the colour. So if we view the source of this page, as you can see, our HTML is just headings, paragraphs. So this is real uh, text that is search engine friendly. Then if we look into the head file, as you can see, we're running the original Kufon script. Here is the script that Kufon Generator gave to us, which is our Hiptathia uh, typeface. And then this script here is what you need to assign the typefaces to certain tags of your web page. So as you can see here, I've just assigned it to my headings one, two, and three. Again, you can outsource this JavaScript to a separate external file. And there's just a bit of CSS here to make this page look the way it looks. So very nice little technique, very easy to set up. Um, you know, from the first time I saw this, I pretty much had it up and working um, in a matter of sort of 10, 15 minutes. So have a bit of a play around with it, try some different typefaces, um, you know, try them on your web page. I've tested mine on pretty much all the, all the platforms, Safari, Firefox, IE6 through 8, and it all looks exactly the same and works well on all of them. So I hope this bit of some help. The um, sample file we're looking at here has all been zipped up and is available on our supporting blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog. If you've got anything to add to the Kufon text replacement method or any bad experiences or good experience using it, um, please leave the comments on the YouTube channel or the blog. Thanks for watching.